be quiet. Sky. Sky. Jesus. Jesus. Son. Son. Neti. Neti. Where have you been? You look like you've come back from the dead. Where's Captain Rocky? No worries. Well, that's a lot. You should have never trust that he didn't bring any food. Did you bring food? I'm starving. Someone got killed. Did you see what I was doing? I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. We have created this society. No future for one of us but all. Past generations, we have those and us have created this present immoral, destructive society. And we are trapped by that society. That society is made by each one of us. So we are responsible for that society.
anti-modern. No, we want to be modern. We want to be up to date. We want all the sophisticated things that make life complementary. All the benefits, whether it's education, social services, transportation, technology. We want everything that goes along with what's called being modern. In fact, the Quran teaches us to be up to date. To be aware, to be educated, to be in tune. So we Muslims, with our knowledge and attachment to the Quran and to the behavior of the Prophet we do not have a problem in embracing what is considered to be the modern benefits of humanity. But we don't have to be to swallow. We don't have to swallow the whole chicken. Along with the bones, we don't have to do that. Actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. When it is possible not to change society, but is it, is it possible to radically, deeply transform our condition? 